everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soap, and today I'm going to show you how to use some water soluble papers into your melts and pour. I have a basic design here. Um, I'm using Sulky, Sulky brand, um, which I got off of Amazon. And I thought, geez, you know, for I don't even know how many sheets, it was 12, sh no, yeah, 12 sheets. And I thought, oh, that's, you're not going to get very many soaps with that. Then I figured out you can put multiple designs on it. So, um, actually you can put more designs than what I have on this right now. Let's see, you can see all my designs. Um, and so what we're gonna go ahead and do is there's one more thing we need to know is when you're doing your, um, using your clear melt and pour, make sure it's clear, not opaque. This is the opaque one. Um, you can use it, but it's gonna be darker than this one would on your design. Okay, so we'll go ahead and what I've done is I've taken um, our mold that I use all the time and I poured a little bit of the clear melt and pour on it just so I had a template in here and then I peeled it out. That way I knew exactly how big it would be. And then what I would do is I print this out. This paper will go in any dot matrix, um, I'm sorry, not dot matrix, now you know how old I am, uh, inkjet printer, and that's what I use as the one in my office. Um, so what I do is I take this, we know that those cavities are about three and a quarter by two and a quarter inches. And so what I do is I actually center this on the design so I know about how I want it to look, so I don't cut too much on one side or the other. Okay, and let me see if I can move this so it's more and then I put my finger down and then I just kind of score it. Okay, then I remove it and then I have my cut lines. So this is really easy to cut. Like I said, it's, it's kind of like a thick tissue paper. Um, and so I cut it down to size and then I check it by putting down the mold and I have my three designs here and I just, see, let me put to one you can see, make sure that there's no wrinkles, no folds or anything, and make sure they fit perfectly in the mold. You don't want to cut it, you don't want to take this and cut around it like that. I mean, you can, but you will see a, a bit of the paper in your, in your design if you do it that way. And I'll show you what that looks like, because that's how I kind of learned by doing. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna melt down our melt and pour, our clear melt and pour, which I got from Crafter's Choice, uh, at Wholesale Supplies, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so I have my melt and pour melted down. I'm gonna let it cool for just a little bit, but I kinda of wanted to give you an example of what this is. This is my little bath bomb mold, and here is some of the paper um, that's, the water soluble. I'm going to put it in the water and then basically what happens is it just dissolves. I mean it just goes away. And so that's the whole idea is it's just going to um, just wash out of your soap. Okay so let me see if I got this centered. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just pour just to make sure your mold doesn't have any, I have a piece of soap in there. Make sure um, you just do a little quick, a very thin layer. Just enough to cover the bottom. Okay. The closer you have your picture to the front of the soap, um, the darker the picture will be. The further back, um, even though this is a clear soap, it does make the picture uh, not so um, visible. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. Okay, so we fill just the bottoms, just the bottom of the mold with our clear melt and pour and we're going to squirt with alcohol. And then I have these designs that are cut out and ready to go. And we don't put any fragrance we don't put anything extra in here that'll make this cloud up. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool for just a sec and then we're gonna go ahead and put our pictures in. Okay, so it's cooled down a little bit and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these 
just straight into the mold and we're going to tap it flat very carefully and you want to kind of run your fingers one way and it kind of helps get rid of the air bubbles and then you're going to do it on the next one and remember to tap gently and just run it around toward the end so you can get rid of all those little air bubbles piece of soap on that this one's still a little cooler okay squirt with alcohol I start getting a little bit of a skin on this so let me stir that out and now we're gonna pour you need to cover the whole picture Okay, use your skewer if you need to to reposition. This one decided to float off a little bit, but that's okay. And if you see an air bubble, like there was a little one there, which I know you can't see on the camera, you can go ahead and you can just tap it out. It'll come to the top. Squirt this with alcohol. And then we're going to let it sit for a second, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some shea butter um, goat's milk on top of it so we can have like a white background you really don't want to do a colored background behind this because it kind of will take away because from the soap image so you can do colors but after you do it at least a thin layer of the goat's milk so it has still has a white background and then if you want you can do glycerin or or what have you and then you can do it on the back of these okay so we're gonna let this cool down for just a bit we're gonna melt this down and then we'll pour on top. Okay, so these have cooled down enough. Let me see if I can get them into the camera. I have a new uh, camera, so it's kind of hard for me to figure it out right now. Okay, and we have our melted um, goat's milk. Uh, this is shea butter and detergent free. You can, and I already have added my um, essential oil in here. I'm gonna leave this, if you're gonna do another color, that's fine. You do need to do the, the at least this layer right behind the clear in white, okay? Um, you can try it, I would love to see it. Um, I'm not, I haven't really gone there yet. Let me just start and make sure it's good. Let's do another squirt of alcohol. And then we will pour it slowly. And I'm not gonna put any other colors behind this. Just going to make it a regular bar and it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough melt and pour for this one so I'm going to melt some more melt and pour and I'll be back okay so I had to remelt down some melt and pour I will squirt this with alcohol and then I'm going to go ahead and pour it I don't want still don't want to pour that hot so this is in the 120s And then what we're going to do is we're just going to let it go ahead and sit and then we'll unmold it and we'll show you how it looks. Okay, we're back. Um, I went ahead and put these in the refrigerator just so that I could get them to cool down faster. And we'll go ahead and unmold. We'll just pull the sides apart. All right. Here's our first one. Here's our second one. And like I said, you could make this um, a different color here, um, but just make sure you have the white. Okay. And then there's our final one. My camera likes to focus and unfocus. It's a little bug I'm working on, so I do apologize for that. Um, I do want to show you, I don't know if you can see it, but this is one where I cut around, and I don't know if you can see, but you can kind of see a little bit of a film here. So that's why you want to cut it to the actual size of the mold itself. Okay, so I think that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, 
And if you have any that you do, I would love to see it and put it on my website if you'd like me to because I think we could all learn from each other. So this is Anna from Koala Soap, and I hope you have a really great week.